So that's something we're going to be looking at inserting notes and comments. So that's available under the insert and you also have a keyboard shortcut for these to insert a comment or a note. So a comment is used to provide additional information on the contents of the sheet. So you can select the comment. You can also comment to specific other users by starting with the at symbol and that's going to select the other users that you have within your address book and also selecting other users that might be assigned to have access to the document. So you can also assign a particular comment to that user, adding in some text for the comment. So this is now going to be directed to this user and now I can assign to that particular user the comment. Once the, if you want to see what comments have been assigned, you can hover over the cell and you'll see a yellow cornered, colored corner that you can select and then you can see the comment and content information. And you can see that it's been assigned to that user. You can also edit that, delete it, or you can link to the comment. There's also an option to check off, so that will mark the content as done and hide it from the discussion. Also, if you go into the comment history now, that comment is now going to be sitting within the comment history. So under that particular cell, so if we do select it, we can see where it's located. So it's within sheet 1, G6 cell. If you select the comment, it will automatically go to the cell that had the comment and highlight it. And from here, you can have the same actions where you can reply to the comment, you can mark it as done, or you could delete it. You can also select under the comments tab within the window that you want to look at comments that are only for you, comments that are open, comments that have been resolved, and you can also look at the comments on particular sheets. So if you have multiple sheets and multiple comments, this is a way to sort through the comments. You can also scroll down and see the different comments that have been added. There's also different ways that you can set the notifications for the document. So if you select the email notifications under comments, so you're gonna get notifications for all, you're gonna get notifications only for comments that are addressed to you. And then if you select none, you won't get any email notifications for comments that are added into the spreadsheet. There's also an option here to add new comments. So just as we saw under the insert for the comment, we can use the shortcut or we can use this comments icon. And that's another way that we can add in a comment onto the cell. And by right clicking it, we also have an option to add in a comment. And this is gonna also show up in the comments just as we previously saw the comments being set. So I'm gonna assign this comment to this user. And if you sign to a user that doesn't have access, it's gonna ask you to allow access to that user. So let's update this and we'll set it to this user. So that was an error there and it was able to catch that error. So I'm able to assign that comment to that user. And it actually is able to detect that this is the same email address that I'm logged in as using this content. So I can also just do an assign to me and just do an assignment. So now this content is going to be assigned to myself. If I do a search, I can look at the content that's only been assigned to me. So comments by adding comments, they allow you to collaborate with others on the spreadsheet. And the cells that do have the commented areas are going to get highlighted with the bottom, with the top orange. And then when you hover over the cells, so even if the cell has some content, that comment is still going to be there until a, we take some type of action on the comment. If it's something that we want to mark as done, that will remove the highlight in the top or top corner. But the comment is still going to be visible if we look at comments that have been resolved. So that's going to be a resolved comment, or if we look at all the comments, you can also reopen a comment. So by going to comments, and we can see the ones that have been resolved, I can select under the more options. So I can once again delete it, or I can reopen this comment, and that will bring the comment back into the spreadsheet. So if you do accidentally close the comment, then you always have an option to reopen it. You can also reassign the comment. So that is clicking on the comment and we can click the comment where we reply to the comment. And when we 
reply, we type in the comment and this allows us to reassign it. So either by using the at or the plus, that's gonna pop up the window for the other users and allow us to assign it to the person that we want to use. So once we press reply, that's gonna add in that new user and assign it to that user. Under the more options, we can edit, assigning it to multiple users by adding in the at to multiple users and saving it. So now it's been assigned to two users. Also under insert, we can add in notes. So notes can be added into cells and similar to what we saw with the comment, if there is a note on the cell, when we hover over the cell, that note is gonna pop up. The notes are gonna be indicated with a icon of the cell. We can select it and under the right clicking of the cell, we can delete the notes from there. So if you can add in the notes and then you can also delete it by right clicking as well or by selecting insert in the top tabs at the top.